Hello, welcome to the Peaceful Wood Turner. I have a piece here. This is, uh, I believe, pine. Uh, it's from a big hunk that I found in the woods. Uh, it had already been cut off of something else, and the piece was sitting there. There's a lot of branches sticking off of it. I'm hoping that the trunk piece is going to be uh, something nice. But that's got to sit right now. Uh, I've got it outside. It had some bugs in it. It's got some punky bits. It's going to take a little bit of work. But I have this piece uh, as one of the branches. It's really solid. It does have a couple of little crack lines in it, but they don't go very far. So hopefully they're not going to be too bad. First thing I'm going to do before I start doing anything else, I'm just going to take off some of these little pieces that are on here. Hence the gloves. And uh, I'm just taking these off so that I can... make this a little bit safer to turn. Couple more little guys. It's funny, these little guys bother me because I know if they come flying off, they're gonna come flying off right at me. They're gonna get around any protection that I have on. Dust mask, face mask, eye guards, etc. So I really want to take those off first. I'm not as worried about some of the larger stuff because I can see it and I know when I'm cutting it and I know where it is. Uh, so those are all off now and I'm going to start taking this down to round and I'm thinking that uh, I'm going to try to make a nice ornament out of it. Okay, I'm reset now and I'm going to just start rounding this down. I'm going right around uh, 680 RPM. I'm just trying to go a little faster than I've been doing with some of these other things. Just to stop and see where we are, got it mostly turned down to round. Still got some problems right here. Uh, I'm just going to reset a couple things and get back in business. All right, so I moved my tool rest down to this lower end here, just to try to take some of this down and not get this too thin before I know how everything else is. And do the same thing down at this end. If you're very careful, it just really juts out right here. And I just need to be very careful that I don't catch over there. So I'm going to come in real easy on it. There we go. That's very round. A little bit of bark left right there. A little bit of natural spots. But that's just fine for what I'm going to be doing next. I'm going to start shaping it down with the spindle gouge. Uh, just trying to get the basic shape of my ornament. Most of my work is going to be over in this end. If I'm lucky, if I'm lucky, if I'm really lucky, I might actually save enough down here that I can do something else with this. This is really nice wood down here. I just like the feel of it. I like how it feels when I'm cutting into it. I'm going to round this off a little here so I don't catch. good rough shape. I'm going to reset a little bit and switch off to my skew. Okay, I reset my camera angle a little bit as well as resetting my tools and doing a little cleanup. Uh, I've got my tiny little skew here. 
Uh, I'm just going to try to go along and uh, smooth things out. I'm still getting the hang of this tool, so hopefully things will go smoothly. So this is the part that gets tricky for me. I need to take this down as low as I can, as smooth as I can. But as I get smaller, I get flex and I get rattled. So I'm gonna be very, very gentle. I'm gonna bring this side down a bit more, bring this side down a bit more, and hopefully I can get it down to where it needs to be without it breaking off, uh, without getting too many uh, bumps and shakes and catches and all that kind of stuff. Most of this is pretty smooth. I've got a little bit of rough right here. And there's some really weird colors in this. So this is going to be fun. So one thing that I've gotten as a tip from people is to back off the tension a little bit. So I'm going to try that, just a little bit less tension so it doesn't bow things quite as much. Uh, you can see I'm getting kind of some waves here as I'm going through. I'm getting rid of the rough spots, but I'm creating new ones, so that's not good. See, that's from it flexing. I'm getting all this rough stuff in there. So I should be able to take that off with the tool. But I think I'm just not getting a good angle. I think I'm coming in with a little too much pressure. I'm going to try a little bit more with the skew. And if I'm not getting it with the skew, then I'm going to just take it off with the sandpaper. A little better, but I'm still getting a lot of rattle. I'm gonna to switch to sandpaper at this point. Start taking it down. All right, so I'm gonna go with a 150 grit to begin with. Uh, just try to take some of these tool marks off. I'm really working hard in this one area right here. I've got a little ridge that I made for myself as I was trying to smooth things off. So I'm just trying to get rid of that ridge. The trick for me here is to be patient. Something I'm not always that good at. I think it's going away.
All right. I was really afraid there was a scratch right here, but it's not really a scratch. It's just one of the lines in the grain. This is some funky stuff. So for the longest time, I wasn't able to figure out how to get rid of the, uh, the circular lines that I would get when I was sanding. It just never occurred to me to go perpendicular like this to the direction I was sanding before. And then I watched another couple videos and uh, saw somebody doing this and said, oh, oh, that makes a heck of a lot of sense. Real simple solution. One of those things that you look at and say, hey, why didn't I think of that? But hey, so we need people smarter than us, right? Okay, that's looking pretty good. Sand a little bit more this way, and then I'm going to switch to a higher grit. And once I get it down a bit, I'm going to trim off a little more, and then work on uh, applying a finish. Okay, so I've got a piece of 220 here. There's a really neat grain in it. All right, gonna go to a higher grit. Okay, brand new 320 sanding sponge. Love how smooth that feels. All right, I'm gonna take down just a little bit at this end and a little bit over here, trying to stay away from the areas that I've already sanded. All I want to do is be able to set it up to be separated. So I've already sanded, I'm just going to take a little bit off here, a little bit off here, just to kind of smooth those parts out, and then I'm going to work on uh, burnishing using some of the shavings. Uh, I've seen it talked about on a couple of uh, Facebook groups and things like that, and I just figured I'd give it a try. You know, that is a really nice smooth finish. It's one of the best finishes I've gotten in a while. So I'm gonna part this off now. I'm gonna put a little eye up here so that I can hang it, uh, finish off the end down here, and I'm gonna put a nice shine on it. So almost done. Okay, I've gotta part it off. Just need to round this a little bit. It's okay if it stays kind of flat because it's where the uh, eye is gonna go and I need to take this down a little bit. I've worked it down some, but I don't want to do too much roughly. I really want to be as careful as I can and go smooth, so I'm going to use the power sander here. Just a palm sander. One part I'm worried about is right in here, and it's really hard to tell with this focus, but right in here there's a couple of little uh, tear outs just from where everything was turned and all that, um, and where, the final, uh, where the final work was done to take it off. Uh, so I'm just trying to get that sanded down a bit, take this edge off so it's not too sharp right around the edge, and I'm just going to smooth this down a little more. That's 
really nice. So I'm just going to put a finer grit paper on here and uh, take a little bit more off and then I'll put a finish on. So I've got a much finer paper on here because I just want to smooth things a bit, get it closer to the rest of the finish. Just gonna put an eye in here, and uh, I'm gonna put a little bit of a rattle cam finish on it because that gets a really high gloss. <laughs> 